everyone this is felicia with the book is done i am here for number three of today and so um this book that i read for the month of july i want to say maybe the beginning of august i want to definitely want to say no i just finished this book like two weeks ago but um this book right here the love of his life by Molly Garcia. Even though this looks all romantic and stuff, listen, let me tell you, this was so far from it. It was definitely like a dark obsession book, mystery type book, if you will. Um, this book was good. Um, she is an independent author, um, but come to find out, she has like a whole gang of books that she released. Like we, I met her in a book club that we're in and uh, they put this post up of indie authors, you know, things of that nature. And so we were just like, okay, cool. You know, I put my stuff up there. She put her stuff up there and it's a series. That's the first book of three, um, a three book series. Um, and it's called the Dark Obsession book series. Um, this is book one, like I said, it goes up to three. And so um, the love of his life, holy smokes, when I tell you, this was so good. This, I can I have chill bumps right now. Y'all can't see them, but they, they did. This book was so good. It actually kind of made me a little, I don't know, because um, it's a single woman. It's this woman. It's the main character. It's really two main characters um, that goes back and forth. It's the third one, but they just kind of fade away in the back. But the main one main character, her name is Maggie, and the other one, um, the one that fades away, his name is Phil, and then the third one is Rob. And so, before I get into it, triggers, um, sexual assault, physical assault. Um, that's really it. Some abuse, like physical abuse. Um, but outside of that, outside of murder, honey, that's just. Uh, that's just what it is. Um, but, yeah, uh, Maggie is um, this, I want to say she is either a nurse practitioner or I want to say she's a nurse practitioner. And um, she works at the uh, hospital in town. And her best friend, Neil, um, is someone that, I want to say she works at the hospital. I don't believe she works at the hospital where her, I can't remember where Neil works. But um, is Maggie is the main character. Nell is her best friend. Phil is someone who, you know, just kind of fades away. Um, but he starts out as one of the main characters. The third main character who ultimately takes Phil's place is Rob. So, um, Maggie is single. Phil is single. And so, Nell, they, they don't know each other. Um, Nell tells Maggie that she needs to go to the speed dating type event at this pub. Um, and she, although she was hesitant, Nell is just like, you need to go. You need to get out there. It's time to get you a man. Um, and so, uh, Phil, Phil works in a warehouse, um, that he still lives with his mom. I want to, I don't know if he was like late twenties, early thirties. I can't remember, but he still lives with his mom. His mom was like, oh, I think you should go to this, you know, speed dating, uh, type event that I read about, you know, could, you, you need to get somebody in your life. So, uh, Phil goes to the pub first. He starts to mingle with some people. He seems like a recluse. Like, he just seems like someone who's just kept to himself. Um, and he just, uh, it's kind of like on a creeper side. Like, that's how the book may portray him to be as like this creeper. And so, um, they, uh, he's at this pub and he's getting ready to leave and he sees this woman walk in who just so happens to be Maggie. So, um, right when she walks in, they get ready to start this whole speed dating thing where, you know, two people sit across from each other. I've never done a speed dating event. So it just fascinates me every single time when I read about it. I'm just like, you have four to five minutes with one person to get to know as much as you want or can about the next person. When the bell dings, you go to the next person. It's weird. Sorry. It's been a long day. So, um, sorry about that. So, um, Maggie sits with Phil and the vibes that Maggie gets from Phil is just like, mm, 
creeper feels like nothing but creeper feels so rob is at this event as well speed dating um event and so of course rob sits with um rob sits with maggie maggie is like oh i like him he seems like he's a little kind of pushy but you know what we can look past that we can look past that so phil automatically takes like phil slips maggie his phone number um because like i said he's just like Ugh kind of like a creeper but at the same point in time he's kind of shy so he slides her his number and then all of a sudden he takes on like this whole demeanor of being like a protector of maggie he's just like she's gonna realize it that i am the love of her life and woo 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 he legit starts stalking her like scary and so um you know rob is very forthcoming um he tells maggie you know i look forward to seeing you again woo 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 um you know here's my number um and so Nell gets a hold of Maggie. Maggie is like, yeah, I'm ready to cut the rug. Neil is just like, yeah, it's time to go. There's nobody really here anyway. And so I think Neil actually sat with Phil as well. Um, and they noticed that Phil was just, sorry. Oh, it's a sign that's time for me to go to bed. Um, that Phil is just like, Ugh. so um maggie you know the day is over with and phil is like literally stalking maggie he's stalking her at work he's stalking her at her house um and maggie is just like i feel like i'm being followed by phil like i don't know what his deal is maybe he's upset that i didn't call him text him whatever the case may be but i'm just not interested so maggie and rob meet up for like a lunch date or something and all of a sudden Phil just decides to show up because he was already there in the place where they were. I have no idea how they found how he found out that information. But he's in the same pub where Rob and Maggie come and then uh he legit like introduces himself and like adds himself to their table and Rob is like, dude, you're blocking, like, what are you doing? Um, and so Maggie was uncomfortable. Phil took it as to where she's uncomfortable that Rob is here. I'm here to protect her. Anything goes down, I'm with it. Rob is just like, dude, you are blocking all day. Like, we have plans. Can you go somewhere else? Like, who are you? And so, um, at the end of that, Maggie and Rob leave together and, um, Phil, Phil just kept stalking her because he felt like Maggie was in danger. Why he felt like this, I don't know. Him and Rob are not related. Not that I believe in this book. And speaking with the author, um, because the author, Molly Garcia, is super, super amazing. Um, she sent me this beautiful book. Um, and so she was like, uh, I don't know. So they're not related in the book. And so... Um, Excuse me. I am so sorry, y'all. So something happens as to where um, different things keep happening. And one of the ladies um, at the hospital where Maggie works um, had been attacked. And they were just like, we don't know what's going on. Why would somebody attack her? And so um, Maggie was just like, I keep seeing this feel everywhere. I don't know how to feel about that. I don't feel safe. Woo, woo, woo. And so... Um, with that something happened there was um there there was an assault there was a physical assault with one of the ladies um at the hospital and um one of the nurses and i believe that like when she was leaving she was attacked and so it was pinned on phil and i say pinned because phil didn't do it not in this he in this book he didn't do it i don't know if he had something to do with it that could be in a second book, possibly the third. I'm not sure. Hopefully, like, Phil and Rob are in no way connected. Um, that would be really messed up if that's the case. So, um, long story short, um, Phil is pinned with this information. He ends up going to prison, right? And so, Rob, before all of this, Rob keeps visiting Maggie at the hospital. Hey, just wanted to come and see how you were. Let's do a surprise lunch date. Let's do this. Let's do that. So, Rob is, like, trying to seal his position. So, Phil goes to jail. 
Rob and Maggie are still talking. So it's like a year later, um, Maggie moves in with Rob and it's like little by little, she starts to notice different things with, uh, Maggie starts to notice different things with Rob and she's just like, she she's one who is constantly giving him the benefit of the doubt. He, he wants his house because they move in together. He wants his house meticulously cleaned and he wants this and she shouldn't do this and she should do this. And uh, it was just a mess. Definitely overprotective, if you will. And so um, Rob ultimately ended up being like a stalker. Um, if she talked to anybody outside of that house, he legit put a tracker. Um, he put some kind of like spyware app on her phone so he could read all of the text messages um, listen to all of the conversations that she's had, um, and he's following her everywhere. And so, um, Bill can't do anything because he's in prison. He's in prison to the end of the book, I give you that much. But, um, it just, it keeps getting more and more and more scary and things keep happening. Nell ends up being murdered, which is Maggie's best friend. So, of course, Maggie just shuts down, absolutely shuts down. And so, um, you know, she's like, thank goodness I have Rob. And before Nell was murdered, Nell was like, I saw Rob with some woman um, at this restaurant. I really think you need to break. I just don't have a good feeling about him. I, I need you to break it off. Maggie, matter, you know, uh, uh, something beyond the doubt. I forgot what the name is, but she's always giving him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, Rob is this and Rob is that and Rob could be doing this and, and all things. She's just brushing it off, brushing it off. And so, Nell is killed. Maggie, naturally, is significantly shaken. Her and Rob move together, and she notices different things that Rob has been doing that Rob will say, oh, well, you know, maybe you're just tired, or maybe you're this benefit of the doubt. So, I'm going to stop right there, because that's when it starts to pick up um, even more. So, you just notice different things, and it's just like, Rob, you're doing some shady boobs type stuff. Like, I'm not a fan. So, um, in all things... This book was super good. When I finished, I had to take I had to take just breaks throughout the book because I was stressed out. I was like, "Oh, I hope that you know Maggie doesn't have to go through this because this is torture and how to live and trying to just live your life like please tell me it gets better. Please tell me it gets better." So it did get better, but oh, that's why there's a second and a third book. So. In all things, I will be getting a second and third book. Like I said, Molly Garcia has written other books. They're all available on Amazon. She is so sweet as a person. Like, I would love to meet you one day if you see this video. Um, but in all things, this book right here, Love, The Love of His Life, Molly Garcia. I would definitely, definitely, definitely check it out. This is a keeper on my bookshelf got to keep the season, got the series together, got to keep them together. So the book that I'm going to be talking about next in this next video, I may have to save it to tomorrow because I am starting to rapidly get sleepy. But um, it's a book that's called My Son is a Murderer. Just the title alone, My Son is a Murderer. You already know some stuff is going to go down. Um, but My Son is a Murderer by Spencer Guerrero. Um, I can't wait till he drops his next book and he's working on it too. So until the next time, it'll probably be tomorrow, but this is Felicia with the book is done and I'm out. Have a good evening, y'all.